I took it as like a fun challenge mm-hmm. to see like where I could draw inspiration whilst also being very clear on who Asha was. Yeah. Um, and I think we found the, the best the best parts of that to include in the film. I love the movie. I'm so glad. I think it's the perfect way to celebrate 100 years of Disney animation. Everything about it is fantastic. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I mean, I love the film so much. I'm so happy we can be here to talk about it. Me too, because you are fantastic in it. Thank you. I had so much fun making it. <laughs> can you talk to me a little bit about honoring the tradition of Disney heroines while making the character your own? To me, that was one of the most enticing things about doing something like this. Um, I'm a big believer in honoring your roots, like where you come from, and also, you know, living in the moment and 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 running towards your future, which I think is exactly what Asha is doing, right? And I, it was fun to be in the booth and to, you know, be going through the script and be like, oh, I hear Alice from Alice in Wonderland, or I'm hearing, you know, is that Tiana? Is that some Tiana sass? Like, I think that was really fun. And so I, I took it as, like, a fun challenge mm-hmm. to see, like, where I could draw inspiration whilst also being very clear on who Asha was. Yeah. Um, and I think we found the, the, best, the best parts of that to include in the film. I definitely agree. And the music is absolutely amazing in this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you a really hard question. What's your favorite song? I don't know if I can choose one. Like, you know what I can tell you, like, I, my, I think my favorite song to record yeah. was At All Costs. Like, it's such yeah. a beautiful, kind of unsuspecting ballad. You don't see it coming. Mm-hmm. But I just, I think the emotions it talks about, it was so fun to, like, swim in them while I was singing it in the booth. That was cool. Um, but, you know, I also really love knowing what I know now. Mm-hmm. I think everybody needs an anthem right about now. And that's, yeah. like, <laughs> was great. Like, I'm into it. Somewhere, somewhere to put your rage, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, one of the things I found really like intriguing about Asha is it's very traditional for Disney heroines to be fighting for a bigger cause, but she feels like the first activist. Can you talk about kind of that aspect of the character and why that was important to bring out? That sort of was always floating in the air, even when they brought me on. That was something that was already important to the filmmakers. Um, and in my own life, I advocate for causes that I'm very passionate about, whether it's homeless youth or LGBTQ rights or women's rights, human rights in general. I mean, I really value humanity, um, truly. And I um, I think it's really cool to have, to, to have that modeled for young people and people of all ages within this girl, this beautiful brown girl with braids and freckles. Like, that's fabulous. And and she both does it in an outspoken and respectful way. Mm-hmm. It's also, an, she's an unsuspecting leader. She's not looking to become a leader in her community. And yet when the need arises, she steps into it boldly and bravely. And again, something that's really important, I think, to see modeled today. And I have to ask, what does it feel like to not only be in a Disney animated movie, but the 100-year anniversary Disney animated movie? (laughs) I mean, to quote Sondheim, I am both excited and scared. I'm also, I am a Disney kid. I'm a Disney fan. So, you know, I'm I'm so aware of of the fans out there. And I, I hope that they see in this what I see in it and what I, you know, so ardently tried to instill in in Asha it was that love you know that belief in in wishing on stars and that with effort and perseverance and determination and support from you know star that y- you can see that your wishes come true and then can you talk to me a little bit about portraying Asha's evolution through your voice acting and the songs this is one of my first uh, larger adventures into voice acting and it was a fun challenge, you know, but again, I'm still acting. So it's all about finding the arc. What's the journey? What's she feeling? Um, and and once I found her voice, once I found let the heart of who she was, it was very easy to like step into her shoes and just let her live. And it, it was fun. I felt so free because she is very free. You know, she's free to fail. She's free to succeed. She's free free to try again. 
a lot of freedom in that. And it's a it's a beautiful feeling. <laughs> like I said, I absolutely love the movie. I can't wait for more people to see it. Thank you. I've already listened to the songs that came out like 10 times. Oh, so fun. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm so glad you love the film.